Hi, my name's Phil Skins from Roland Systems Group and I'm here with Paul Decay over at DV247 looking at the brand new Roland VR5. Now this is uh, an all-in-one audio and video mixer and built-in recorder. Um, so what it allows you to do is uh, basically uh, be in control of your own um, portable web TV studio. Okay, so let's have a look at the audio mixer section. So on channels 1 and 2 we have a mic and line channel, in fact dual mic line channel um, so you can plug in your XLR microphones directly into the unit um, for voiceover possibly or maybe coming in from a submix from a, a larger audio mixer. Um, in addition to the mic line channels on 1 and 2 there's a, an additional three channels of stereo audio that can come in from various sources such as DVD playback. Okay, so on the video mix side of the VR5, um, what, what we have is uh, free video inputs uh, that can be on S-Video or Composite, and uh, you can bring up to three cameras and the built-in player um, via these buttons here. So I can just switch between the different sources, and actually I can time that transition up to two seconds, um, or we can cut or wipe these different transitions. So for example, if I wanted to wipe between two channels, you see on the top right hand screen that we've got a box out. So there's various different wipes within the system that you can choose within the menu. So if I go through to the menu, go to video mix and choose transition setup, I can set the time of the transition and also which wipe I'd like and there's various wipes, soft edge wipes and, and various patterns to wipe it between the different video channels. There's also a dedicated PC input into the VR5 so the built-in scan converter will take your PC input uh, along with the audio input um, to mix with your vid camera and video mix. Also on the PC input uh, there's a key which can be a uh, luminance key. If you turn the knob to the right, then you have black or white, uh, black or white luminance keying. Or if you turn to the left, you have green screen, blue screen keying, and that can be set up in the onboard menu. But what that will allow you to do is to overlay maybe some lower thirds or some titling, maybe the uh, the name of your event or the logo of your band or your, um, uh, your organization that can sit um, over the top of the video mix. The VR5 also has an MP4 recorder uh, built into the unit. Um, what it will allow you to do is take your whole audio and video mix um, and bounce it down onto SD card as an MP4. Um, so we have the standard transport controls see it's um, armed on record now if I hit play it will start recording that session nice and easy so on the recorder section uh, there's also this marker section here and you can actually mark um, during your recording and then on playback you can jump to them marker points there's two built-in touchscreens on the VR5 um, the one on the left actually shows the free video inputs coming into the VR5 along with the built-in player on the bottom right hand corner. Um, if you actually touch any of these sections of the touchscreen panel it will actually play out onto the right screen that, that selection. Okay. Also on the second screen we can actually do a sub composition so at the moment we have a overview of the VR5 but if I then wanted to show some footage in there we see that as a picture in picture and actually I can move that around the screen and if I want to change the size of it I can do that also 
So that's a really handy feature if you maybe have a close up that you want to show on the wide shot. So one of the coolest things on the VR5 is uh, the built-in USB uh, web streaming capabilities. So we have a port on top of the unit and we can attach a USB lead from the VR5 directly through to a PC or Mac and it will actually stream the audio and video mix from the VR5 uh, directly into your um, computer uh, through that USB stream. Okay, looking at the physical connections on the back panel of the VR5, um, we have the two mic line channels coming in. Uh, they have a TRS type connection or an XLR uh, and also phantom power switching. Uh, we then have the video inputs, so uh, free um, video inputs on uh, S-Video or Composite uh, on BNC and each of those video inputs has also a, a dedicated stereo phono input as well. Looking uh, at the PC input we have a 15 pin D-Sub um, and also a, a mini jack to feed the audio from the PC. And then looking on the outputs we have two sets of main outputs on Composite BNC and S-Video and also uh, a separate um, preview output on Composite and that will actually show you the quad split that you're seeing on the left hand side of the touch screen that will appear on uh, a monitor. The VR5 also has a HDMI output uh, now this is a digital connection uh, which will allow you to um, send the audio and video mix um, either to a, a small um, preview screen or also out to the projector, the main projector. Uh, on the audio side on the outputs uh, we have balanced XLR or some, a set of phonos. Um, the audio output feed will go to both of those connections simultaneously. There's also uh, MIDI capabilities of the VR5 and that uh, allows for control of the VR5 transport control uh, and certain controllers within the system to be activated from an external um, MIDI device. Well, um, I believe the VR5 is absolutely ideal for the education world. Um, there's lots and lots of occasions where the VR5 would be more than suitable to uh, run a production, capture a production, whether that's uh, a school play, or whether it's a music concert at the school, or even whether you need to capture um, an actual classroom lesson for example. So a good example of the VR5 being used in education, um, well, well, let's take a music concert for example, um, you can put in some video cameras into the VR5, um, you can put in some microphones possibly from the presenter, um, you can maybe bring in um, a, a band mix from a sub mixer coming into the audio mixer section of the VR5. So mixing all them microphones, the audio and the video cameras and additionally with playback from a DVD or some media playback device. Well that's it, I mean the thing about the VR5 is that uh, because it uh, deals with the audio, deals with the video uh, and records that audio and video down onto the SD card uh, in the built-in recorder, it means that uh, because it's totally portable you can take the unit uh, outside uh, where your sporting event is, you can plumb the output into the PA, your PA, and you can take the HDMI output for example and feed that to your screen, your projection screen. Uh, or to TVs, for example, that are relayed around the uh, around the sporting arena. Because of the all-in-one nature of the VR5, um, the fact that you can take um, the mics, the video cameras, the whole audio video mix, um, you could essentially record that down to the SD card, and it's there as an MP4. So that's straight away available um, to distribute on the social media channels like YouTube for example but also um, the built-in video streaming on the USB that this is great because if you're using a service such as Skype um, if you're calling someone anywhere in the world with the Skype service um, you can actually um, tell Skype to look at the VR5 as the input so that means you can share um, that mix with anybody in the world and, and all that person at the other end would need is their own webcam and their own computer uh, and they will be able to see your mix through to them. That whole element can then be recorded down and distributed on the web or shared later. 
Um, well, the VR5, um, it's a real cost-effective way of uh, distributing um, your performances, really, um, either recording them down to the SD card or, again, streaming them over the web. So, for example, for a DJ, um, we could have a live feed um, from the audio mixer, the audio DJ mixer. We could have a video uh, mix from the cameras pointing at the DJ. That can all then be streamed over um, the internet as a live performance or recorded for upload to YouTube, for example, at a later date. And that's the same, really, for uh, any performers, any bands um, or producers, really, that want to uh, get their sessions, get their performances uh, onto the web or streamed live over the internet. So, yeah, I mean, uh, for artists and bands, the Roland VR5 uh, is a great all-in-one solution to be able to update fans, um, share information on tours, um, provide um, performances that can then be shared uh, on the YouTube channel or streamed directly from the band's site. So then the artist or the band, for example, can sign up to a service such as Ustream and uh, they can then stream their blogs, video blogs, uh, their live performances directly through to their fan base.